Okay. For the sake of the argument, uh, not just say factually speaking, not a single one of us in this video are real. Sure, it's only been three days, but man, I miss Barry, man. I usually talk to him at least once every other day or so. I know he said he needed some time to be alone, but how come he's ignoring all of our ways to try and contact him? Well, that Barry is a very competitive person, you know, give him some time. That battle with Brock affected him way more than either of us could have expected. But, but Donnie, that didn't seem like a normal fit of rage, like you might expect if someone fails in a high stress situation. I've seen that. I've felt that. What Barry was feeling was something more. Joey, I'm not an expert on stuff like this, but Barry has some of the best people in the world to talk to, the very best. If you're worried, you could always send the Secret Service over there. Well, if I have the Secret Service knocking on his door only to find out he's just having dinner with his family, I'll feel like a total jackass. Then don't, just give him time. I think you're right, but if he doesn't respond for another week, I'm going there myself. We'll just have to give him more time and record without him today. Well, I expected to. So I've already invited someone else who should be arriving any second now. Mr. President, your guest has arrived. Perfect timing. Hello, Mr. President. I'm glad I could be here. Hold on. Is that seriously Pokemon I see on the TV there? I thought it was a jest when you told me that we'll sit down and play Pokemon with Joey Biden. Did April Fool's Day come early or something? Uh, no. It just feels wrong with it being just Joey and I in the room here, like we're missing a vital third piece. Barry isn't available to record, and we've skipped a few sessions already. And we've got to get to work here with paying off this national debt. We can't let Barry taking time off stop us from recording, even if he is our friend. National debt? Barry isn't available? Recording? You've missed a few sessions already? This can't be real. Why would two sorry excuses for politicians on opposite sides of the aisle sit around the Oval Office and record Pokemon games? That has to be a joke, especially at the part where you mentioned paying off the national debt. That is a joke, right? There's simply no way. Don't tell me that I'm giving you guys too much credit right now. There's no way that either of you are thinking you could pay back over $30 trillion with YouTube videos, right? I mean, here's the deal, man. It's no joke. No, sir. Have you seen how much that Marker Pier or MRR Beastly guys make? All we have to do is scale that to the United States, and you've got a cash cow right there. That reminds me of the story back in the day when I lived in a small village. There was this beautiful buxom woman. Her name was Lactosinius Bovis. The dirty fellows of the village referred to her as the cash cow. You see, the reason they called her that was precisely because she was a big fucking cow. What the fuck? Listen here, Benny boy, let's sit down and start playing. I'm sure we're all very busy, so let's quit wasting time. You brought your headphones, right? Well, yes, of course. Awesome. Now get ready to get offended. Excuse me? Hello, all my Americans and soon-to-be Americans by the time this series is done. Welcome back to, I believe, part four of Pokemon Clover. Barry isn't here today. He's, uh, he's busy. But I've invited another well-known guest onto the President's Gaming channel. Say hi, Shapiro. So this isn't a joke? And if it's President's Gaming, then why didn't you invite Bush or Clinton? Well, Billy's a bit of a complete jackass, and as for Georgie, well... He's become a bit weird since he discovered smoking weed and generating AI art. Gee golly, I love the future. Yeah, I think he spends most of his free time doing that. You ever play Pokemon, Benny? I mean, yeah, when I was like 15. Ah, so you're a nerd and a Gen 1-er. I mean, being a nerd isn't a bad thing, is it? And a Gen 1-er, come again? Hey, Benny, read this guy's lines. Uh, okay. The Goldberg Rubenstein Corporation only owns 87% of Pokemart shares. How could we control anything? Here, Goy, have a free potion. It's on the house. Ah, so this must be a fan game, I take it. Was that supposed to be offensive? What? Of course not. He's just a business owner. And he gave out free samples. Yeah, I'm like the only non-Jew billionaire. That's a complete lie, Trump. And is that man wearing a tinfoil hat telling us to not buy things from a Jew-owned store? What the hell is this game, and why are you playing it? This has to be a setup or something. Is the CIA gonna come in here and assassinate me or something? What? No, we're just playing a game, Benny. Barry initially chose it because of the amount of content, but he had no idea about exactly what content it had. Wait, what's happening? Wait! That was so cool. That Joey wannabe creeping behind the gym just flashed us! Yeah, I like Flash. I get lost in caves without it. And come on, Donnie, just because he was old doesn't mean you have to compare him to me. I'm astonished. I expected that 
we'd be having an interview or something. The most logical thing I can conclude so far is that I'm probably dreaming. Holy fuck, man. Yes, this is real. You really did fly up here to play Pokemon with the United States presidents. Get it through your damn skull. Oh, really? Get it through my damn skull? Guys, settle down. Settle down? This emotionally stunted man-child just invited me here to waste my time and effort, and now he's raising his voice at me? I had an interview scheduled with The Rock, but I had to bail so I could make this. It's not every day someone gets to talk to not one, but two presidents. Yeah, and we're thankful you're here. Yeah, and I regret expecting anything from this. A Republican I didn't want to vote for and probably the worst president of all time. Oh man, that's me. Joey, I'm sorry to say, but he's absolutely correct on the part he said about you. But it's not my fault you didn't want to make America great again. Guys, can we please avoid politics? This is supposed to be for fun and saving the United States. And, oh my gosh, I love this little guy. We have to catch one. He kind of looks like Banjo from Banjo and Kazooie. Oh my gosh, he does. And he's a ground type too, he could beat Brock. Can we find it nearby? Maybe. Maybe it's in the cave up ahead. It looks like a cave dweller. That thing is literally a shit mole. Yeah, and so is your attitude. There's no way Trump is talking to me about attitudes. Oh, but I am. I'm one of the most positive people I know. I'm positive for the American people. That's why we're here. Do you think I really want to be here playing video games with Joey Biden and some nerdy Jew? What? Are you saying you don't like video games? Then how come you even know about famed 90s video game mascot icons Banjo and Kazooie? Well, I, I... Stop! Be quiet! Pikmin is evolving! We can beat Brock with him! Oh, oh my, oh my fucking God. Holy shit! <sighs> no. Oh. Look what they did to my boy. So I assume you didn't expect it to evolve into a fire type? If I recall correctly, Pokemon don't usually completely replace their typings, yes? No, what the fuck? He lost his grass typing. Are you kidding? Great. Now we have two fire types and no shot of beating Brock. Who cares about Brock right now? He's suffering. Holy crap. Yes, I'm sure if these pixels on a screen were real, it would be in a lot of pain. Oh, man, maybe if we toss him in some water, he'll turn into a water type. Maybe he only evolved into a fire type because you taught him Sunny Day. We can fix this. Joey, if I ever get prompted to do that, I will. Even though he'll probably just evolve on level up. What is it with these freaks always wanting to show me their bug collection? Yeah, the last time someone showed me their bug collection, hoof, that didn't end well for anyone. That cry sends chills up my spine every time I hear it. Joey, if you're talking about the bugs I think you're talking about, then we should leave it at that. I'm upset at the fact that not only did we lose our ace for the next two gyms or so, but also gain something that's not gonna do shit in either of them. Could this day get any worse? Girl, oh, yes, I can. I want to deck this fucking bug. Gum! A keck roach? Like what people used to say in WoW. Why do you want to deck it? The urge to kill rises higher and higher with each passing moment it is on the screen. Wow. Thanks for showing me your bugs, kid. Don't go home thinking you'll see your parents ever again. Imagine if that voice clip was leaked to the media, Trump. You'd never live that one down. Man, my people have been digging up like 60 years to find some dirt on Trump, and nothing they find sticks. I bet they'd kill for that. Oh, don't worry about me. This is only going to YouTube, and I'm sure no one will take that clip out of context. Oh boy, oh boy. We're almost at the Pokemon Center. Is this person supposed to be an African Muslim? Why are they purple? Oh, uh, well, let's just say that basketball jinx people don't have a good history with Pokemon. And what is that supposed to mean? And did this person just mention Kwanzaa? I question the authenticity of a holiday that was invented 60 years ago by a purveyor of the Black Power Movement who was convicted of felony assault, torture, and false imprisonment. Not to mention it's not a part of any religion per se. However, it was made exclusively as a quote-unquote black person holiday, which I simply don't agree with. I believe that promotes an unhealthy atmosphere in the public conscious, where one group is born with more freedom than another, which I- Jesus, Benny, what the hell? We didn't invite you here so you can comb over every single piece of dialogue in this game and make a counterpoint to it. This game has zero limits on what is put in it, all right? Don't think hard about it. Okay, to sum it up, for the sake of simplicity, I believe any holiday could be celebrated by anyone, even if they are disregarding its origins. As long as the people celebrating have no ill will and are passing on a good message, 
then that's all I care about. If someone in Europe wants to celebrate Thanksgiving, then go ahead. I think that's a little weird, but hey, if you're for unity and spending time with the ones you love, then go for it. Jesus, man, please don't go on and on like that again. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. This is one of my special moments where I can mostly drop my political shtick and let loose and relax. I don't like to spend my downtime being too politically charged. I like to relax. Yes, same here. When I'm at home, the last thing I wanna do is be political. It's weird, I've sorta of developed this switch in my head that I flip on and off. I'm not home right now. I mean, I'm sitting in a room with two of the most powerful men in the world, regardless of your sad political or mental states. That's definitely work-related, so I use my work brain and I'm sure you two will sit down with me for an exclusive interview for my site, The Daily Wire, after this, right? Well, uh, no, I don't think either of us want to do that. What? You won't even let me interview you two about political affairs in our country? Why was I even invited? Well, I just thought that you are a super smart guy, and personally, while you dunk on me constantly, and we may not see eye to eye on everything, I believe you have good intentions, and you're an American citizen, so you're serving your country well by coming on here. Not many people get such a privilege. Wait, wait, hold on. This guy will sell us a water type. We can beat Brock. Joey, yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. computer. What is he doing? <laughs> Joey, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How many times do I have to say it? And oh, please catch this Evie. I am absolutely fucking fuming right now, Joey, but I will still catch this damn thing. Well. It's interesting to see that Biden is just as incompetent in his personal life as he is running the country. At least you're consistent in one way. Man, Benny, don't bully me. I already feel bad enough. Seriously, don't you have any backbone at all? You're the president. Please, please let me name the EV. He is the president in title alone, Benny. Pretty much the only thing he does is attend speeches and sign papers. Well, I thought that part was obvious, but is it really that bad? Don't know. I don't know if, if things would be better or worse if he actually thought about any of the stuff he did. I mean, just look at what he's naming this Pokemon that resembles Eevee. Is that something a president would do? To be fair, I don't think presidents name call as much as you either, though. Shut up, pencil neck! Oh, what the fuck is this kid asking? Average Fortnite player. All right, everyone, we cut back to where we were before. Joey started jumping around like a stupid child and unplugged the PC. I bought that water type from the guy who normally sells Magikarp. Hopefully this thing isn't as useless as Magikarp, or Joey for that matter. Donnie, I already apologized 150 times. Please stop. Consider your apology accepted, given the fact that we'll be using your stupid Eevee bug thing instead of our butterfly thing, the Eevee is a fairy type, so I, I think that's just a lot more interesting. I'm hoping it can evolve. Uh, and also, I hope we can get to the name raider soon, because I know what we're going to name this true bait, but I was button mashing when I bought it. So I skipped the name raider. Uh, Barry showed me a screenshot of someone's suggestion for a Pokemon name, which is actually the only suggestion we've gotten as of yet. But I think it fits this Pokemon pretty well. By the way, if you have any Pokemon names at all, whether it be a general vague name for any Mon or for a specific Pokemon, please comment them down below. I'll have Barry tell our editor to keep an eye out in the comments for nicknames. We can do that wheelie thingy. You know, the one that spins around. I'll wheel spin, Joey. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Man, that arm thing reminds me of Barry. I wish he were... Huh, Barry. You're back! Well, now I'm not even a third wheel. I'm a fourth wheel. Hey, boys, and just who the hell is this? Ben Shapiro? Nice to meet you, too, Obama. Gah! Wait, I've heard that voice somewhere. Well, probably from YouTube or TikTok or something, considering I own libs like yourself all day on those sites. Forget it. I hope you boys haven't replaced me. And I'm sorry to have kept you both waiting. Nah, Barry. It's all good. We were just worried about you. We only just started recording again today. I wasn't worried, by the way. I honestly couldn't have cared less. Just tell us what's going on next time, so you're not annoying me. Stupid idiot! Oh, Donnie is. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. Ah, what Donnie. the fuck, man? And Pikmin too. Ah! What? Look at what they did to my boy! <laughs> I thought evolutions were special around here. Yeah, they are, just not those ones. And why would you care, Ben? They're just a miserable pile of pixels, right? Donnie, you just skipped two evolutions, and one of them was Pikmin. I can get you skipping Don's. But you were the one who named Pikman. We already saw Pikman evolve, and no one cares about Don. What do you mean you already saw Pikman evolve? And ha, you said his name. Bullshit, fake news, this is a witch hunt. That was so rigged. Donnie, the only thing that was rigged was the last election. Wait, but Barry, what? You all right, man? Happy you're back. Yeah, Joey, I'm better now. 
I feel like I need to share a little bit of what's going on behind the scenes in my life here. Oh no, Barry. Don't feel like we're forcing you to do anything. Do it now. I will. For the past few years, um, late 2016 to be specific, I've been having nightmares and I've been hearing things. The, the nightmares have been uh, pretty consistent, but the, the hearing of things has been rare. That was until for some reason we sat down and started playing Clover. Not only have I heard more and more as we've played, but I've, I've felt things too. My emotions have spiked and um, I feel some otherworldly sense of something. Whenever that stuff happens, I feel a sharp pain that's almost blinding. All of these things has been taking its toll on my marriage and my relations with people in general. It's just hard to come out about this stuff because people will think I'm crazy, but I'm not. This all happened to me for a reason. I don't know if there's any good way to deal with it, but I decided I'm needed here. You guys need me. The American people need me. I can't stay in bed all day. Wow. Obama, I know you love hearing yourself talk, but man, you're full of yourself. Damn it. I forgot you were even here. I don't think he's full of himself. I just think he's full of it. Barry, you have schizophrenia. You need medication. Donnie, you don't really think that, do you? And Benny, that was so uncalled for, man. I was hoping to get to know the real Benny some more, you know? Sit back and play some games with you. I won't take all the things you've said about Barry and I personally. That's all just political business, right? Let's just set that aside and have a fun time, man. No malarkey. Switch from work Benny to home Benny. No, Joey. He's right, or at least he's right about the me from 2016 and before. I'm like a different person from how, how I was then. And is if he's judging me from back then, then he's right. I was full of myself. But Benny, I promise I've changed since then. I, wow, I didn't expect Obama to make me feel like an asshole today, but hey, I guess stranger things have happened. I didn't expect any of this when I came here. I expected a shouting match with myself having to use some good old facts and logic, but you're serious, aren't you? You're all serious. Wow, Barry, okay. You may politically be crazy, but, but I believe you. What a touching conversation to have while catching a Pokemon that's covered in shit. Yes, yes, catch, please. Yes, yay, oh, joyous day. This guy is my new favorite Pokemon. He is so adorable. Joey, what the fuck? It's literally called the feces Pokemon. Yeah, and that's what makes him special. Feces or not, this guy's a ground fighting type. He fits into the team super well, and I already know what I'm gonna name him. Banjo, oh, I guess this shit monster does look like Banjo, how unfortunate. I don't know what to think anymore. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Speaking of thinking, it's time to hit up that comment section again. Last part, um, I didn't quite get to every comment I wanted to. Uh, but we got pretty much all the voice related ones. Uh, so that's good. I'll go through the few I didn't get to as well as last episode's comment question. We've got a huge comment coming up, but uh, let's start off tame. According to Jimmy John Joe Jr., uh, apparently the lead developer of Clover saw at least our first part and um, he said he likes it. Uh, he, uh, I don't know how you know that Jimmy John Joe Jr., but um, that's awesome. I'm glad both you and him like that vid. Uh, hopefully you watch them all. The lead developer saw our video. Holy moly, that's amazing. I've never gotten noticed by anyone before. Joey, you are literally the current sitting president. What are you talking about? And what's the big deal about someone in particular noticing you? I've got this one, Joey. You see, Benny, they didn't notice Joey. They noticed me. They came here for me. They saw the video and thought, hmm, what is this? the greatest president in American history playing a Pokemon game. How fascinating. Then they clicked on the video and watched it. I have many fans all across not only America, but the world. And you know what that means? I'm going to get my own official, unofficial Fakemon added to this game. Donnie, you added a lot onto that. Ah, ah! No, 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 not that thing. No. Holy shit, Obama wasn't kidding about his mental state. He sees a lovely chest filled with valuables and he screams terrified. It just killed our lame water type. We don't stand a chance against Brock. We can't win. Barry, stop with that negative attitude, man. Our water type only fainted because Donnie is using some cheap knockoff Chinese Pokeballs to try and catch it. It got some free hits in. True news. And I already know the name for this thing. 
I'm also going to get to two comments in particular that really apply to last episode. Coincidentally, we have Fishman573 again, the guy who commented about Crow Gunk last time. He says, this game is so damn hard that we need the experience share on. He also highlights in particular the absurd difficulty that the fourth and last gym has. If he's to be believed, I feel sorry for the poor sap who has to face them. Given what's happened, I hope it's not Barry. We also have Caps Lock Prime here, who says he just usually checks in on Clover LPs, but he's actually going to watch ours. He also said, don't forget about wonder trading. They're one of his favorite parts. Lim Ow. Did you just say that? Yes, I did. I also want to personally thank each Patriot who likes the video and leaves a comment supporting our series. There are so many kind words said, and I can say for each of us here, except maybe Benny, I don't know, he's not really too invested, but for us presidents, I can say thank you for the support. I can't individually show each comment here, but I saw one in particular when I was scrolling through Barry's phone just now that I think perfectly encompasses everything. And that's Famine's Banico's simple W. Wow. Leading by example. If you want to leave a comment but don't know what to say, just say W. Damn right. All right. I'm going to briefly talk about cries again. Um, it'll be quick. First, we have Mitcha Konyak Polsky, once again, the person who I did the Mankey and Krabby line cries for, who also said that their favorite Pokemon cry for this game specifically is one called Von Dash, who says Shiet. We'll keep an ear out for that one. And Ben, since you weren't around for our last video, where we all did our best impressions of our viewers' favorite Pokemon cries, how about I give you one since we had someone late to the party? We have Triggered Cat, whose name may or may not be related to the Litten Evolution line, who would like to hear someone do the Litten line of Pokemon. All right, let me listen to that line over my headset real quick. Hmm, okay, yeah, I can do that. And his picture is JFK who is probably the last decent Democrat in office. Benny, come on. Oh, our fish is evolving. Does it even look different? Well, it definitely isn't as happy, but this guy can probably solo Brock. I also don't like that it laughs. I don't like when my fish laugh at me. It reminds me of that one puffer fish. The one with the carrot? Yes, the one with the carrot. Now try your best at the Litten line. Right, right. I'm pretty all right at impressions, so here I go. Shit! Uh... So, how was it? Thank God you weren't here for last episode. I agree, but let's finally do last episode's comment question on your favorite gems. Plenty of returning. And familiar faces on this one. That's how we know you a real one. Here, Donnie. Read this first one right here. The one your thumb is covering up. Move it! The best gym was Joe Mama. Fuck you. Ha ha ha. Donnie, you just got finessed. Joe Mama is still funny. Yes, it is. Thanks, Matthew Webb. Um, anyway, we're going to fight Brock here, so we should end the episode on that. Let's hurry up the comment questions. Benny, you do the honors of reading these off since you're our special guest. I also talk the fastest, but in rapid fire succession, we've got Matthew King, who just says ice type. Can't argue we with that. We have Dr. Devil who says they liked the Psychic Gym from Emerald because it's the first gym to have two gym leaders instead of one. That was Damster cool. Polman says he likes Brawly's gym because he doesn't know when the next battle is going to be. You like getting jumped Dalton in the dark? Dalton is here says Brock's gym is cool because of the trainer before and correcting himself about being light years away Brock. from Brock after you beat him. Peter Fisher says the fire gym from this game is cool we'll because see. it makes darkness a part of the puzzle. Christianus Candon says he likes Opelucid City's gym because of the moving dragon parts to get to the gym leader. That one is And the White badass. Tiger God and Nexus, 93, both say they like the aesthetics of Anastar City's gym, Space with Tiger cool. God going further and saying she likes Karina's because of the skating Fine. and battle-wise, Winona and her Altaria. Winona is such a baddie. What? Donnie's spitting. Barry, you, do you want to try Brock again? I'd love to show you up and dominate what you couldn't, Todd, but I don't know. I, I think you should go for it. We all know I'll be the one taking on the champion one day anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. I, I don't know, Donnie. Wait, why are we fighting this kid again? What the hell is that, Pokemon? Uh, don't worry about it, you two. And Barry? I think you should take Brock on again. If you don't tackle traumatic moments shortly after they happen, that trauma will stay with you. You know what? You might be right. Let me take Brock, Donnie. All right, Barry, you can do this. I don't recall Brock being a challenge. Of course, I went the superior water type, Squirtle, but still. Silence. It's time for the Brock rematch. Benny, read Brock's lines. Uh, okay. Oh, God. So, you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Gaddish's gym leader. 
my rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true determination. That's Whoa, right. My Pokemon are all hell? rock hard. Oh man, he's got eyes. No, what? Not now! Gah! Did you just have one of those moments you referred to earlier? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I'm seeing stars. Barry, calm down and just breathe, man. This should be simple. We have a second stage water type and a super effective move on all of his Pokemon. You've got this. Yeah, you're right. I, I've, I've got this. I've got this. I just got thrown off by that voice earlier. Barry, you can't lose this. We have our water type, our fighting type, and sure, Pikman isn't a grass type, but he's still got some grass type moves. You just have to be careful for his chest that he throws out. That thing obliterated us last time. And here it is. Um, right. I need to switch out here. He will probably one shot our water Pokemon. Barry, or stop. You don't have to um, switch. Um,. This one? No. The Eevee. Isn't bug type weak to rock type? Yes, it is. It's just going to die. Hey, don't sell my cute little Eevee short. She eats rocks for breakfast. Fuck. I don't know what you expected to happen. Ah, uh, but you see, that was a part of my plan all along. How do you think that? I sacked off that useless Eevee so I could switch Banjo, our fighting type, in for free. Ha, ha, ha. Barry, that is so cap. You just got lucky. And wow, and he's holy five levels shit. low. Yes, let's go, Banjo. <laughs> See? No sweat. Banjo's an absolute beast. He would have died if you got crit. Banjo. 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 What an absolute legend. Obama, are you crying tears of joy over a digital shit monster? You're damn right I am. It's about bringing us all together and overcoming obstacles. He helped us do that. Banjo is the absolute goat this episode. It really is a damn shame that he's covered in shit, though. He is who he is, and he's proud of it, and I'm proud of him. Okay, Joey, you're going too far with this bit. We're also not done with last video's comments, by the way. I think Barry's got this under control, so let me finish this. You guys shouldn't put your audience engagement at the end of your video. Lots of people end up clicking off before even getting to this point. Okay, and? That's how we know you a real one. Guys, Benny might have a point. Shut up, Banjo Killer, and now let me read these comments. Fuck you. First, we have GNS with another big W Winona take. I agree. Winona's gym was fun. Puzzles don't have to be mind-blowing to be fun. Then we have Epic Armadillo, who agrees with me on Whitney, but he goes into it a bit more. Great profile pick, by the way. Gyakyo Burai Kaiji. Ultimate Survivor is a great show. Sugoi. The fuck was that, Donnie? Barry, I too am shocked that Donnie is a man of culture. Yeah, shut up, nerd. Then we've got Vampire Hunter and the return of Charlotte L. Pichu. Both of them say they love Nimbasa's gym. I can't blame them. I am ill for Elisa. Well, I hope you get better soon. Then we have Tartsonis, who votes for Sexy Sabrina from Gen 1. Pause. And Stop. I think he's basically saying he loves to cheese it. Based. And then we have Yumu probably given the best take of today and saying the fighting gym from Galar because B is Bay and holy fuck, are you correct on that? Donnie, she's a child. I expect this from Joey, but you too? No, she's not. I also know my next comment question. Hey, hey, but I think I'll save my idea for next time. As for now, I have the most tremendously wholesome comment question as this is the last video we'll upload before Christmas. It's simple, this episode. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever gotten? Mine was a small loan from my father that let me jumpstart my own business. Mine was ice cream. Wow, that's wild. Great question. Mine was a book from my wife, who is a doctor, by the way, and she gave whoa, me- Whoa, 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 wait, what the fuck? This game has Brock as the first gym leader, but they replaced Misty? Fuck that! Okay, that interruption was quite rude, but... My favorite Christmas gift was being able to see my family after I thought I was going to die. What? When did you think that? Okay, guys. Seriously, if we're having a social discourse, then it's incredibly rude to... And I have one last absolutely monolithic announcement to make. Fucking whatever. It was a book. Oh, really? What is it, Barry? So, because any and all the revenue that our channel generates goes directly towards paying off the debt, we set up a Patreon and a Kofi for our editor because without our editor, there's no shot these videos are going to get made and I'd like to not kill him. Wait, what the fuck? Our editor makes these videos for free. And for now, at least, he makes absolutely nothing from this channel. Hopefully we can change that in the future. Imagine if he could get by just by editing our videos. How goofy would that be? What are you guys talking about? You're all millionaires. You could easily pay your editor without even anyway, noticing- Anyway, we never actually expected anyone to even notice that we set that up for him but someone did. Someone noticed, and not only did they donate, 
but they donated far more than our editor ever thought someone would. A truly crazy amount for the first donation ever. Oh, now I'm listening. On behalf of us all, but especially our editor, thank you to Matt G for the $50 donation. If you've scrolled through the comments, you've probably seen him. Um, this was hugely impactful uh, and allowed our editor to get to work on many, many more videos. Uh, he really loves to edit our videos and just the fact alone that someone cares enough to not only donate in the first place, but to donate so much in support of him means so much to him. Damn, I'm not gay, but $50 is $50. Well said, Joey. Well said. How is that well said? Get me into contact with your editor because it's criminal that you're making him work for free. No, and I actually saved his comment question for last. Matt G writes, he's humbled by being the last comment in episode three that we responded to and his favorite gym and Pokemon is Flannery's from Gen 3. He's saying that he admires its difficulty because apparently her Torkoal absolutely kicks ass. That's badass. Choosing Trico and facing that gym sucked. And Barry, aren't we pushing this episode a bit too far past the gym battle? I thought we were ending it right after. Yeah, Donnie's right. Thank you, Matt G, and everyone else who's commented and watched the series. You rock. Also, we're fighting the angry video game nerd. What the hell? You're right, guys. Pause the emulator, Joey. We'll pick off right here next time. It was great to have you here, Ben. Thanks for filling the gap I left, at least for a little bit. Hopefully, you can return sometime. Yeah, I didn't expect anything that happened here today, but I'm glad I came. It was interesting. And Matt G, our editor, texted me like five crying emojis alongside that screenshot of the donation you gave. And he thanks you for the kind words on Kofi. Thank you to all the true patriots that tune in and have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy some holiday ham for me, all right? And happy holidays. And a happy new year. And a happy Hanukkah. Fuck it. And a happy Kwanzaa. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to part five of U.S. President's Play Pokemon Clover. It's Opa Joey style today, and I'm ready for a late epic time. Joey, that was awful. Hey, he's just having a fun time. You should try it for once. What do you mean? We had a great time at the Christmas party. You're the one that left early. I had things to do. But yes, between last episode and this episode, Christmas happened, and we hope that everyone had as good a time as possible for it. Joey, what are you doing? Are you seriously losing to some stupid floating elephant? Hey, man, leave me alone. It's not a big deal if we lose a Pokemon or two. Wow, that ember did no damage. Whoa, Joey, it hit super. Why can't I stop speeding up? I don't want to pull a berry and wipe here. Pull a berry? Really? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm calling it when our entire team gets taken out by one Pokemon. Thankfully, that crisis was averted, though. Joey, please don't refer to our entire team getting wiped out as pulling a berry. But Barry, John is you and your efforts in our first ever gym battle. It's something we can remember forever if we call it that. Joey, that's something I don't want to be remembered for. Find something else. So you took what is probably the more defensive option for the fossil Pokemon? All right, and did that guy just give us something that he said makes him feel sick whenever he is holding it? What the hell? Hey, that's a bonus, if anything. I think in the base game, he just lets us take the one fossil and he just gave us another. Let me heal real quick. All right, I healed and let's explore the rest of this cave here. Getting back to it. Thank you everyone for the wholesomeness in the comments of last episode. We saw a lot of favorite gifts and even some stories. It's starting to get to the point where it's difficult to jam every comment we want to show off into each episode because we're starting to get so many, maybe we should just show off the ones with the most likes or the ones we have a lot to speak about, I don't know. But for this episode, we're starting early. Yeah, fine by me. Ben had a point last time. The audience question was coming far too late in the videos. Last time I asked you all what your favorite Christmas gifts were and we got some responses. Yes, sir. Yes, we did. Let me start off strong with the best one I personally saw when Barry let me look through the comments. Michael Vickers said, the best gift he got was two pounds of 99.2% .2 meth. And gosh darn, if he wasn't lucky with that. Joey, that is vile and not wholesome at all. Plus, I highly doubt he was serious. No, no, I believe he was serious. When I get gifts similar to that, it makes my day. It's the only way I can feel anything sometimes. Jesus, Joey. Barry, you know Joey, and you know you should have expected that. I can't no, blame him. No, not her. Uh, stay oh, hey, away a rival her. battle. We haven't had one of those in a hot minute. Uh, I heard this cave is the legacy of some guy named Mon. 
Mott, that must be a guy who worked on this game. They told me he was a cuck in a bag. Well, this fine young lady here has a potty mouth on her. Don't say she's fine. <laughs> Another rival battle. Uh, well, at least I won't get crap for doing bad in it because I'm not the one playing. Yeah, I'll do fine. I'm mostly healed up, and she has a starter we're strong against, after all. Um, yeah. Anyway, my favorite comment about someone's favorite Christmas gift was truly a great comment, a tremendous and possibly the greatest comment ever left on any YouTube video. And that comment was one left by Dildo Bread, where he said this series was the best Christmas present he's ever gotten. Truly amazing. A real American patriot right there. Donnie, why are you shouting out people with such foul names? It's not about what your name can do for you. It's about what your name can do for our channel. Joey gets it, sorta. Get what? Why are we facing a coin? Coin D's nuts fit in your mouth? Oh, man. Incredible. But seriously, what is this? A grass poison type? If anything, it looks electric or maybe steel or something. What is this supposed to even be? Why is it bullet seeding us? Man, this move sucks. It does like no damage and the animation for it takes forever. Yeah, screw this thing, honestly. Whenever that move happens, I think we have permission to skip it. Not like we'll be seeing much more of it since that move is ass and early game only. Oh, whoa. Look at what her starter evolved into. It's not as cute anymore, but it's definitely cooler than ours. I love anal gay. We all knew it. But what the fuck? How is poison damage not super effective against it? Why is it a trending theme with this game with wondering if a specific Pokemon is a poison type or not? What's with that? IDK. Same. Wow. Riveting commentary from you two. Anyway, my favorite. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. I got ha, 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 ha. Is it over? Hey, are you going to nope, apparently you not. Honestly, Joey, <laughs> I'm surprised you're not the one freaking out whenever you see Kixandra. Oh, 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 oh. You fine now, Barry? Yep. Fine as can be. As I was saying before that rival battle, my favorite comment from last video was from the notorious Matt G. It's a chonker of a comment and we won't post it in the video here because my guy goes all out on the feels and we don't want to potentially embarrass him by posting it here. He said a bunch of nice stuff and life's been tough for him, but just our silly little shout out to him made him feel better, special even. Hey, we made it to the next city already. I could have sworn that route was much, much longer. Donnie, shut it. Let me finish this. Namster Pullman 321 returns again to not only say his favorite gift, but also comment on how Matt G is a true G. The G probably standing for goat because I agree. Yeah, and I agree too. And his favorite gift was the Wii U. It was fun, but commercially flopped because it had Wii in the name, in my opinion. Absolutely. It... <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Said I would put a gun in his mouth. What? You didn't say anything before. What happened? What happened? This is the first time we talked to a character you were fine with, but now you're not. And also, I think Terry has schizophrenia. Yeah, he's the only one. Yep. And also, to clarify, I meant Matt G's favorite gift was the Wii U. I could talk about that all day if you let me. But I'll just say, I agree, to keep things simple. Namster Pullman's favorite gift was a deck of Pokemon cards he got when he was 10. Can't argue with that, right? All my Poke Pals. Don't call our audience Poke Pals, Joey. And what are we doing here? We can't get the bike yet. I mean, probably. If we could get a bike, we probably normally couldn't get it yet. Oh, yeah, I forgot you never played Pokemon before. Cap. And this guy said, if we can find a bargain at Big Bill's, we can kiss his ass. Oh, what in the goddamn? This fully grown man is asking a 10 year old boy to try and piss six feet up and not get wet. What is this town, Epstein's Island? I hope so. What? But Donnie, you also read that if we do achieve that level of pissing prestige, we can get the bike for free, right? And here he said that Big Bill's has no bargains. Fooey. Uh, well, good luck, I guess. Watch this piss. Oh God, that is disgusting. What the fuck? Mostly froth? Goddamn, clean this shit up. Oh God, don't walk in it. Pissing is a valuable life skill. It's something that should be taught in schools because only through pissing long and pissing hard can you two achieve a free bicycle. Joey, the fact that that sentence that came out of your mouth was actually relevant to what's going on is deeply saddening. Again, returning to a previous talking point, as much as we love giving so many comments their very own moment in our videos, it's getting hard to do that. I mean, this is supposed to be US presidents play Pokemon Clover, not US presidents react and respond to comments 
with gameplay in the background. Not that that's a bad thing, but I want to give this game the spotlight, you know? Yeah, and what the fuck? This dude's dragging us around the town. People are just watching him do this. We just wanted to go south. Help! Someone help! Quit trying to get out of this city because you're staying in it. What the hell is wrong with this place? I, I don't know, but I guess we're staying in it. But Barry, what were you saying? We're not going to interact with our audience. Well, what? I never said that. Hold on, hold on. Shut up. This guy teaches Boom Burst. That move is completely busted and for only 3,000. Oh, wow. That could be game changing. I'm going to teach it to Hussein. There's no way that this game is going to let us get that move this early in the game, right? Wait, hold on. What did it say there? Wait, Joey, don't do it. It's a trick. No, our money. No, why? I just wanted a powerful move taught to me. This guy is so damn lucky he isn't real right now because if he was, I'd knock him the fuck out. I'd just straight up kill this guy. Okay, Donnie, while it is frustrating, you don't need to kill him. We didn't lose much. Didn't lose much? Didn't lose much? We lost almost all of our money because of dumbass Joey. Hey man, I didn't do anything wrong. Yes, you did. You lost everything. Well, what's this person saying about a guy that flashed them in Gadech City? Nothing. It was Joey. No, it wasn't. Might as well have been. Jeez, you two. One. Donnie, it's not a big deal we lost 3,000 because we're right before a bunch of trainers and the gold nugget on the Nugget Bridge. And two, Joey, of course, we're still going to interact with our audience and our editor reads every comment, every single one. I'm just saying that we should try and keep down the amount of time that the comment question takes up. Maybe we can give a spotlight to a few, then quickly show some more on screen. Or maybe we can have a special episode here and there, like when we're grinding or something that addresses all of our comment questions. Like we have five episodes of Strictly Clover, then we have an episode of comment questions. I actually think both of you guys make good points, probably. Maybe, I don't know. Let's have the people tell us what they think. I suppose that's our best bet, Joey. Tell us what you think the format should be. I actually think I like the sound of Donnie's idea. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, every time our ideas clash, I always come out on top with a better one. Don't go that far, annoying orange. But let me be clear. The two options we are presenting here are as follows. We can either fit a smaller amount of comment questions and generally give less screen time to them on each video, or, we can, to use Donnie's example, have five episodes with each one having their own comment question. Then in, let's say, a sixth episode, we can do something that's more minor or not important in game like grinding, and we can answer or address plenty of questions. Did you see that asshole fourth wall break right there? Fuck that guy. Okay, Barry, I see what you mean. You know what? Have our editor put up a poll in our community tab on YouTube alongside this video when it launches. Joey, that's one of your only good ideas. Oh, you see, goats are like mushrooms. If you shoot a duck, I'm scared of toasters. And there he goes. Disregarding that last bit, good idea, Joey. I'll have our editor do that. Go to that poll right after watching this video. Or pause, go to our community tab, then come back and vote for the comment question format you would like. You all should keep tabs on the community tab anyways, since our editor is active there. If you vote for me, I'll vote for you in the 2024 election. Go out there and vote now. The mind is dimming, but the spirit is willing. I'm proud of you, Joey. How dare you be proud of him for something like that? Yeah, actually, Joey, did you take your pills, man? You seem a wee bit off. The Office, season seven, episode what? 19, 14 minutes and 45 seconds. Oh yeah, he thought just because it was Christmas time, he was exempt from taking his pills. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. I'm a lone wolf. I don't play well with others. Oh, well, ah, uh, whoa. Was that him howling? I think so. I'm surprised he's even playing considering where he is mentally. Joey, take your pills. I don't know who you are or why you're being so mean to me, but you better be nice to me right now. What the hell? Whoa, Where Joey, did you settle get down, that? man. It's me, Barry. No, Put down the blade, Joey. Joey. Why the hell are you Joey, singing that song? Stay focused on the game. Now I'm going to approach you slowly so you number. don't do anything stupid. Joey, stop. I've never heard that song under such tense circumstances. This is so sudden. Get him, Joey, this is for your own good. You feeling good now, Joey? Oof. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling better now. Still hurt from that tackle, but at least I'm more level-headed now. If I ever have to tackle you in public, I'm just gonna get shot on sight. Take your damn pills, you fossilized fuck. Well, hopefully Kamala's there to talk for me if that happens again. Sorry, guys. I just wanna know where you got that blade from. Wait, whoa, what the hell? Wait, wait, hold on. 
Armando does look like a penis. Why did they make an arm look like a penis? I can't believe I was the first one to see that. I expected you guys to see it immediately. You see what you want, man. That's not true. It's just so blatantly supposed to look like a penis. It's just another vile layer of grossness layered onto this game. They pile it on thick. Man, why didn't we play like Pokemon Coliseum or something? Why did I have to choose some fan game that just so happened to be loaded with bullshit? Hey, it's not bullshit, it's art. Barry, I can assure you that this is actually a game of the year contender and probably one of the greatest games ever made. I also can assure you I have no stake in this game financially. Donnie, you obviously have zero stake in this game. This is only your second time playing. Plus, this is a fan game. Plus, why would a presidential billionaire have any ties to a Pokemon fan game? Ha <laughs> ha. You're so right, Barry. Unless... What? No, no, there is no unless. Why the hell are you even doing this bit? Hey, this sexy young man Omega said that, that Pokemon named Clover evolves either with a leaf stone or by leveling it. It gets swole if you level it, apparently. Uh, yeah. I think we'll be doing plenty of evolutions in this run. I do kind of want to catch them all. The worst part about there being so many Pokemon is that we can only use six. Everything has limits, I guess, except my greatness. I'm going to dip my toes in the water here at the gym. Not a bad idea, Joey. And Donnie, you are mid- I'm top tier, Hussein. Do not fucking call me that low tier trash. Oh man, this music is so soothing. What is it about water levels? Joey, don't get to the gym leader. We still have to beat the bridge. Yeah, I know. We're under leveled. I'm not going to take on the fucking gym leader. Back the hell off, you tub of lard. Get your fat fucking face away from me before I drown you in this beautiful water. Whoa, what in Fochun was that? That was super unwarranted, Joey. I, uh, wow. I don't know. I just felt real angry. And now I'm oppressing someone. I didn't even do anything to you. Why are you coming at me? Joey, I could say the same shit about you. Say the same what? Huh? Oh, God. What the hell is that? It's a, uh, person. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just vomit all over the Oval Office. Real fucking nice job, jackass. Donnie, did you seriously just throw up just by looking at a sprite of a character in a Pokemon game? I don't want to hear it. You smashed one of the most historic deaths in the world for a similar reason. Hell, what you did was way worse considering it was just me picking a certain Pokemon. Okay, screw you. But also, it isn't normal to vomit upon seeing someone. I'm sure it's completely normal to vomit upon seeing whatever the hell kind of person we're facing. I think I'm actually a very normal person in that regard. I mean, I feel like throwing up, but I always feel like that. Be nice, Donnie, don't offend people. I only offend people who deserve it. This circus act we're facing definitely does because he's gone out of his way to offend me so badly that I threw up. In my opinion, we're not doing enough back at him because all we're gonna do is beat his ass in a Pokemon battle. Shut the fuck up, you mongoloid Oompa Loompa. Your very presence is enough to make anyone wish that you were a Pokemon, and we could just stick you in a PC box tab and forget all about you forever. Joey, shut the hell up before you make me write your name down in my little black book right here. And what's with you? Normally you've got no spine at all, but today you're all over the place. Is this bait? Talor is definitely baiting you, but... I'm sorry, Donnie Bear. I didn't mean to be mean to you. My pills just mess with me. I have to adjust to them again. Uh, wow. Wow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> Joey, why the fuck are you leaning in trying to kiss me like a desperate anime girl? Sad, sad, oh, so very sad. This is who you elected, America. A boy kisser. Boy kisser or not, this dude won and now he's fighting a scary looking fish in the shape of the female symbol. Where did we go wrong? The invention of the female species is a good place to start. Wait, is this entire gym based on feminism or rather the super scuff type? I mean, I guess this game was made when all that stuff was going on. They even replaced the gym leader with someone named Tumblr Ita and she literally has Tumblr in her name. Donnie, it gets real dangerous when you start saying stuff like the female species. Um, but I think you're spot on with the gym theming here. Oh, come on, Barry. That was obviously a joke. But I think it's super thematic that this gender fish uses Confuse Ray. And Joey, do not fucking lick the sex fish. It hurts so good, and its name is Fishnism. Get it right, you mansplainer. What the fuck did you just say to me, you little shit? Cool it down, fellas. Lick is actually a good call because it both paralyzed and is super no, effective. No, Evie, I'm sorry. This fish thing must be a ghost or psychic type or something. I'm still rather concerned about the gym leader, though. While this trainer may be about our level, 
the gym leader is probably going to have Pokemon in the 20s. And we don't really have a good answer for water types as of right now. You're right about the water problem, but Joey, what are you doing? You're sending Banjo out there just to die. No, I'm not. Banjo is the greatest Pokemon to ever live. And while you're in my office, you will not disrespect him. I appreciate the positive attitude, but there's no way you have that high of an opinion of Banjo already, Joey. And Donnie wasn't entirely wrong for once. If that thing got like one water type move off, Banjo would have probably fainted. You're wrong and let me at least peek at the gym leader before I head back out. Whoa, hey, that's uh, ugh. The hell was that, Donnie? I just, you know, is it hot in here or is it just me? It's actually pretty hot in here, and it's probably pretty hot in the gym too, considering it's an indoor pool. I will pray to God for forgiveness for what I must yabba dabba do later if I ever see that Tumblrita Sprite again. Donnie, there's actually no way. No, no, Barry, there is a way, because while Tumblrita will probably be diseased mentally, Physically, I can only dream of her utter beauty. Well, Donnie, you're fucking disgusting. And maybe if you sought out women based on their mind instead of their bodies, you'd Not be true, happier. I'm as happy as a clam. Holy crap, is that a dragon bug type? That's so cool. Cheap fuck, you cheap fuck. This guy is a cheap fuck. How the fuck is it fair for a Pokemon to know Dragon Rage this early in the game? There's a damn reason they removed this garbage in recent generations. I fucking hate this garbage game. Jesus, Joey, don't go having a heart attack. Granted, it's embarrassing that you let our all-star faint in the first turn of battle on the bridge here, but it doesn't matter. We can just turn around and heal him. This shit is fucking rigged. It's an unevolved dragon bug type, and it's about to two-shot our fire type. Joey, just use it defense curl, you're fine. Move. I can't believe this. Fire isn't even super effective against it because dragon resists fucking everything, I guess. Ah. Joey, calm down. You're starting to complain as much as Donnie. Yeah, little bro, calm down. <laughs> I am going to squish this fucking bug. Fuck bugs. Yeah, fuck bugs. All my homies hate bugs. Damn right. High five, brother. You two are unbelievable. I hate bugs more than either of you, but I have to admit that dragon bug type is badass as hell. And I think we should catch one. You know, I actually think I like Joey when he's messing with his pill cycle a lot more than stable Joey. Did he just say something in Russian then spit on the floor? Gross, Joey. Someone has to clean that up. Clean what up? Your half-court shots? Because you ain't making shit, home slice. What's wrong with you, man? I don't even go for half-court shots anymore. I'm getting too old. Elbows are ripped plus you're basketball American. Lim foul. If Joey was like this all the time, I wouldn't even be mad at him literally stealing the presidency from me. Once again, I will have to pass my comment question to the next episode. Hey, even though Tumblrita's got me bricked up, Pause. I'll have to Fucking wait for stop. it. It's a great question. A magnificent question. Truly, a tremendous question that we need an answer to. It's, it's, it's the, ah, what the hell is that damn frog outlet thing doing here? I was dreading the day that we ran into this thing. I knew you'd get upset, um, but holy shit. Donnie, are you all right, man? I, I. Donnie. Donnie? Yeah. Yeah, my heart stopped beating for a good bit there, but I think it's working again. Jesus, man, you actually scared me. Wow, really? Now, not like I care if you could care about me or anything. Go die, you fucking loser. Donnie, quiet down before you have another heart attack. Who could think of such a horrible thing? Who in their right mind could create such a monster? Such a, a, a beast? This thing defies all laws of nature and logic. Why the hell is it a frog? Why does it have two thingies that you plug in? One is its damn head for God's sake and another is its tail for some reason. Why does a frog have an electrical cord as a tail? Why does a frog have a tail? It doesn't even have any arms. It also has a human mouth. This thing is the stuff of nightmares. It's just a frog, Donnie. It's not even a water type, it's a pure electric type. I'm gonna scream. Shut the hell up, Donnie. I'm gonna be ending the episode after this battle. These pills have got me acting up and feeling a certain way. We also need to get some doctors in here to make sure your heart is working. I have the biggest, most engorged, enlarged, and uh, most of all, tremendous heart in the world. Good job on that battle, by the way. We got some mad levels. Wow, surprisingly wholesome, Joey. Yeah, there's no way that was a real exchange. Oh, yeah, everyone. Consider our comment question for this episode to be, what format do you prefer for the comment questions? 
comment question section right there. Yeah, make sure you all check out that poll. Um, we'll be back with another episode soon enough. Oh, hello, my lovely bunches of oats. Nope. Oops, I mean my delicious raisin brands. Not right. Um, um, hello, my itty bitty little friends. Joey, just let me handle this. It's my episode of playing anyway. Jeez, we go out to eat, come back, and all of a sudden my gaming privilege has been taken by the one black person in America. Joey, I thought you took your pills. They're silly looking and I never needed them. Oh my God, who this go baddie? Who is this baddie? Ooh, not gonna lie, she looks fine. And to be honest, I like it when a woman is forward with her intentions. Donnie. Donnie? Oh, what a cute Pokemon. I love cat Pokemon. We should catch it. He just walked out of the room. He once again embarrassed himself with his big mouth. He probably has to go potty or something. Please do our intro, Mr. President. Right. Oh, well, he's snarling at me. What a mean kitty. Joey, you're the one stopping me. Now listen here, I haven't owned slaves for- Joey, stop! Holy shit, you really are messing with your pills again, aren't you? Now, I don't play with that stuff. Messes with my mind. What, are you serious? When you've been around as long as I have, you learn that things that are blue in nature often signal toxicity. I, for one, cannot be fooled. Yeah, it's funny how Pickman wants to learn frustration right now, considering I'm about to unleash my own frustration. Barry, if you read the text, you'll have noticed that it grows more powerful the less the user likes its trainer. I know for a fact, though, that as your master, you love me. What? Oh my god, what a cute little puffball. We need to catch one of those. Joey, you need to shut the hell up before you make me do something I'll regret. Why would I make you do anything you'll regret? Are you angry? I mean, you did just let Banjo faint, so if anything, I should be angry like this. Joey, you need to stop talking and shouting and messing with your pills. Because whether you're on them or not, I don't know. I know you're on a delicate balance of medications, so it's important you stay on it. It's important that we catch these cute little cat creatures. And I've lived for thousands of years, saw the rise and fall of empires, many of which were forgotten to time. And now, all of a sudden, Apparently, old Joey can't survive without some silly pills of various colors. Nonsense. I have the only thing I need right in my hands already. Chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. I don't need a cocktail mix of capsules. Joey, shut up. Excuse me, but I mean, really? You and Donnie called me delusional, yet you're the one who is quite literally off his meds? Here's the deal, Barry. I'm on my meds, all right? but they sort of have the opposite effect of alcohol sometimes. They make me remember. You know what? Whatever. I've been distracted long enough. Let me get around to the intro since we're already a full battle into the video. Go for it, my wildberry swirl. Um. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back. Hey, what's up, fuckers? You two absolutely bottom G losers playing Pokemon? Ah, pathetic. But I guess I'll sit down since I just so happen to be in the neighborhood already. Donnie, I'll strangle you. Donnie, you were already here though. You just went to go potty or something, right? Actually, now that that's on my mind again, I could definitely use the litter box right about now. Joey, you absolute waste of space. Ha! I look down on you, for you are beneath me. You are demented and tormented. I was never, ever here earlier. And that's the ugly truth. Every room needs Donnie T in it. Donnie, you megalomaniac. Just what the hell are you trying to pull here? I'm just fulfilling my presidential duty by showing up here to record some gameplay, that's all. Donnie, we literally have you on recording. I'm sure the security footage caught you in the hallway as well. Oh, yeah, prove it. I just showed up here for the first time today, and if you have any evidence at all that suggests otherwise, that's obviously deep faked, and my loyal, loyal followers won't stand for your dishonesty, you Democrat. <laughs> Democrat, that's funny. Donnie, I wouldn't use our presidential gaming time to focus on slandering your name more than you already have, all right? I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. If you're just embarrassed that you called a furry wearing a diaper hot, then that's fine. I don't feel like making a big deal out of it. Furry, diaper, what? They're saying, I have no idea what you're talking about. Seems like you really are crazy. All right, don't fucking call me that, especially with that thing on the screen. And let me finish the intro already. All right, for real this time. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Clover. We just wanted to wish you all a happy new year because this video was- Smash that motherfucking like button and subscribe for Are more badass presidential me? best country in the world. Content, holy fuck, yeah. Let's make this happen. Let's fucking go. Great job, Joey, good shit. That's exactly how you turn our product marketable. Slap that shit on hard, make sure it hurts. The Trump Gaming YouTube channel will explode with that kind of advertising. Trump Gaming YouTube channel? You know, that's not what we named it, right? What? 
Why wouldn't you name it that? Because it's not just you on this channel. It's the three of us and maybe some other people at times. I went with something more neutral. We went with Uvox. That name sounds terrible. Did you at least use the profile picture I sent you? Are you fucking serious? I thought you actually had a sense of humor when you sent that, but you seriously wanted that to be our picture? What? What picture? Picture, it isn't real. Let me see. Here, I still have it on my phone. It's actually my phone background right now. Isn't it incredible? Truly amazing. Hugely tremendous. Donnie? You literally just took a picture of yourself looking dumb as hell with a fisheye camera lens, and you're calling it amazing. That's right, I am. And you know what? If you're gonna be such a dictator, then I'm gonna make this a member icon or emote or something once we unlock all that stuff. The people will get what they want, you commie bastard. 1776 will happen again. Donnie, you're starting to talk like that damn maniac, Alex Jones, going on saying shit like that and being all dramatic. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's never a big deal with you. That's how you do it. It's always small steps, step by step, and then all of a sudden, bam, you can legally marry your dog. You damn Democrats are snakes. Donnie, what the fuck? How did you even get there? I feel like you missed like a few thousand steps in your mini rant there. I'm losing track of what you're even talking about here. Well, Joey is very sad. He really liked that Pokemon that he saw on screen just now, and you just went ahead and one-shot it. Joey gonna cry. Sorry, Joey. And why are you talking in the third person? Wait. Wait, hold on. What did that trainer just say? We can meet Mr. Goldberg. Is he the one that gives us the gold nugget in this game? They're everywhere. They own everything that isn't Trump-branded. Donnie, are you being anti-Semitic right now? Really? That shit will get us canceled faster than anything else. I'm not spreading hate. I don't do you that, Barry. I'm nuts? stating facts. Oh, I have insider knowledge that very few know, and even fewer are brave enough to speak up about it. They are colluding with the aliens to abduct people and perform tests on them. You sound dumb. Guys, I realized something about Armando last time we played this game, and now I want to catch one. It's just so cute. Joey, the only thing you learned about Armando last session was- Shut up, shut up, stop talking about penises. Hey man, you said it, not me. Shut up, Donnie, shut up. You were literally getting bricked up over a diaper fur. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, to be fair, Donnie didn't know what that guy was. And I might have led him astray a bit there. It was hard to tell with that small sprite he had. However, I'm still into it. Joey, that is repulsive and honestly, I think we should trade Banjo in for this guy. Don't even think about he it. He served us well in the first gym, but whatever this thing is, it looks far better. It looks like a dragon fighting type, which is a cool combo, and it's not smothered in perpetual shit. Honestly, Barry, I could easily live without the shit facts about Banjo, but he's carried his weight, and he too is a pretty cool type in being ground fighting. I don't want to get rid of him either. Donnie being difficult? Shocker. If you won't acknowledge the furry incident, then what about Tumble Rita? You went all in on her, and she is probably as far away from you in terms of ideology as you could get. You only saw her sprite for like two seconds, and you immediately began simping for her way, way too much, man. She's just a bunch of pixels. How are you interested in that? Okay, first off, fuck you. Train, I love trains. Trains go choo-choo, ha-ha, yes, that's right, choo-choo, a million tons of steel just for me. Yeah, Barry, even Joey knows this is a steel type, yet here you are trying to poison it, moron. Die. Anyway, you're just lying if you've never seen a girl from a game or animated show or something and never once thought, hmm, hey. I wonder what it would be like if her and I started a family together. That's what I'm telling you. Honestly, why would you even admit that? Imagine getting bricked up for someone who isn't even real. Could never be me. Like, what, is this train going to be your next obsession just because it has anime girl eyes? I mean, contrary to popular opinion, it is a fallacy when the phrase size doesn't matter gets tossed around because it absolutely does. I mean, if this train is the size of an actual train, then it has plenty of practical use, such as hauling goods and people. However, if this train is just a little bit smaller, maybe around a foot or so, I could easily see it being very useful for some other form of load hauling. Awesome, keep going champ. Oh my God, that's what I would scream out at the top of my lungs from my very own one foot train. How do you legally kill an elderly person? Pushing them down some stairs should work. Wait a second, why did I say that? That was horrible. 
Wasn't Joey supposed to say that, if anyone? Why, why would I say that? I'm the oldest person in the world. Hold on, who the hell is she? Howdy. Wait, what the hell? Um, what? Does she have a voice? Always whip God. them other trainers back there. My name's Kimmy. What the hell is with your noises? Uh, I hope you whip me instead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy moly, <laughs> Barry, you're a freak. Secret. It hurts. You complete Ready? hypocrite. Let's go. Uh, uh, Come on, man, snap out of it. <laughs> but it hurts so good. Screw you. She's perfect. Oh, look at how detailed her sprite is. Barry, what the hell is wrong with you? I thought we've gone over this before. Just ignore my little outbursts. No, no. Usually your outbursts are just akin to shouting, but this time you sound like a neckbeard after a woman makes eye contact with him. I, um, have no idea what you're talking about. That was the headache talking. You are full of it. If by full of it, you mean things to say to our audience, then you'd be correct. That's not what I mean, douche. I know this video is going up a little late, but happy new year everyone. Happy New Year, everyone. That was days ago now, but I suppose. Happy New Year, everyone. This channel gained so much traction in so little time, and we all thank you for sticking around. We can assure you all, we will beat Pokemon Clover, regardless of how long it takes us. Facts. We also plan on playing other games, even ones that aren't Pokemon. We hope you all stick around to watch us play those as well. Our stupid crybaby editor what? won't stop texting me at 3 a.m. saying how much he loves being a part of this community. Fuck him. Jesus. As if my sleep wasn't bad enough. Jeez, Barry. Don't blame our editor. Maybe he's a night owl. How about you turn off your phone when you go to bed? And look at this heroic goat thing. Yeah, Barry, that's definitely a you problem if you can't shut off your phone when you sleep. I don't know why our editor cares so much, though. It's not like he creates the content. Why'd you have to stop talking when Pickman fainted? Man, I didn't want to hear that. It's not like I was stopping you from talking. Uh, speaking of talking, you all made your voices heard in the last poll by placing your votes, netting 64% of the votes. You all voted. And it's been decided that occasionally we will dedicate an entire episode to responding to your comments. However, if we see a comment here or there that absolutely bangs or is particularly relevant, then we may fit it into a standard episode either way. That's for our editor to worry about, not us. Yeah, like if you leave a comment saying that your favorite flavor of ice cream is chocolate chocolate chip, then you get featured immediately. Shut up, that's not true at all. Fake news, don't listen to a word he says. And now for my comment question, I've put it off like what, two episodes now or something? Oh, wait a second, that reminds me. A viewer left a question for us last video, actually, and in turn, now we can ask that same question to the audience. That's actually super business smart, but fuck you, Barry. I just want to ask my damn question already. And I thought you just got done saying we'll have an entire episode for stuff like that. Yeah, but this one is a banger, so it's an exception. With it, we can pad out our dwindling supply of unique comment questions. I don't remember. What? Amaral7 Anaya93 asks us, what Pokemon would we want if we had a choice in which one we got? Oh, seriously? You're just going to ignore that cheeky fucker in the reply comment? Yes, actually, because that's something we can relate on. Um, we both have Pokemon that people call us. Um, and, man, it gets grating after a while, doesn't it? And fuck this thing for just sounding like metal on metal screaming. Ah! It's memming us. Joey is pronounced meme-ing, not memming. Oh, I've never heard that word spoken out loud. That sounds way better. Damn, just who is this chick? She's wiping the floor with us. Unless you're just playing terribly, which I wouldn't put it past you. I don't know. I haven't been paying too much attention to the game. Oh, screw you, Donnie. I didn't know anything about that goat thing. And I haven't been paying that much attention either, by the way. I've been busy with viewer stuff. And to answer that comment, the Pokemon that I'd want to- Oh, you're as good as I reckon. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 My club uh, is uh, having a meeting uh, down uh, in Triport uh, City. Let's uh, hope to see you there, yeah. turtles. This is some- Yay, she invited us to come and check out her club. How special. That's all you have to say. Barry was reduced to making complete gibberish that time. Seriously? You're right, sorry. That question was actually really close oh, fuck you. on the Pokemon I most want as a pet. Snorlax is definitely up there, but they're just so big. Imagine the appetite on that thing. I think the Pokemon I would most want as a pet would have to be Kamala. It's smaller and even cuter than Snorlax, and it's down to nap with me whenever I want. Perfect Pokemon for me. Joey, its signature oh, ability back. is literally it being permanently comatose. God, I wish that were me. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Well, the Pokemon I'd want as a pet would have to be Persian. It's so- Are you fucking kidding me? Persian? The regular ass boring cat? Are you for real? Holy shit. 
I know I've told you to back off before, but seriously. Piss off, Donnie. Sure, it's a little closer to reality than most Pokemon, but it has a certain elegance and beauty I can appreciate. Plus, it'll probably listen way better than a real cat would. I never would have thought that you would give an answer so boring, so bland that it makes Joey's pick of a borderline normal-ass koala look absolutely fascinating. My day is ruined and you're retarded. Hey, at least mine is cute. Oh yeah, then what's your pick, Mr. 45? What Pokemon would you want as a pet that's so incredible that it really makes me look like such an idiot? Please, tell me. I will. The Pokemon I most want as a pet would have to be Mega Rayquaza. That thing is the ultimate assimilation weapon. They literally had to make a new tier for its power creeping ass. I desire nothing but the strongest, most elite Pokemon. And if we're talking elite, it's hard to get better than Mega Rayquaza. Oh wow, that's weird how you said that and even worded it damn near the same. What are you on about? What a completely stupid answer, Donnie. Not only is that basic as hell, oh, fuck off, Persian but we're simple. talking about pets here, not what Pokemon would you want for battle or something like that. What are you gonna do, have Mega Rayquaza in the home? Are you gonna pat beside you on your bed and have your Mega Rayquaza snuggle up next to you in bed? Are you gonna take it on walks? Are you gonna teach it to sit? Yeah, I may just do all that. And you know what? Even if my Mega Rayquaza just sat around all day, it would still be infinitely more interesting and powerful than your Persian would ever be. Hey guys, let's calm down here, yeah? A goldfish can be just as fun of a pet as a dog. It's all about preferences. Barry, it's fine if you want a big, elegant cat. And Donnie, it's perfectly fine if you want a cool dragon. We can all like what we like. No need to fight. Joey, shut up. This guy was supposed to pay us money. He was supposed to make up for your fuck up of getting scammed. He didn't give us shit. He gave us zero dollars. He didn't even give us the nugget. Quit trying to... The hell was that? What, did you hear something? I thought I heard something, but these headphones are loud and I couldn't hear over your bitching. I must have overheard one of Joey's advisors tripping on fish oil pills or something. Don't knock it till you try it. What? What was I saying? No one remembers. This girl's having a snack next to the snowy mountain. Oh, no, wait. She said she is a snack. No, she didn't say that. I lost my appetite. And it's back. Holy shit, is that a Pokemon made out of bacon? What a magnificent creature. Bacon is the king of the meats. I wonder how it feels or looks like on the inside. Excuse me? All right, ignoring that. Tell us what Pokemon you would want as a pet in the comments. But I also want to slap on screen right now the results of another poll that our editor put out uh, for some reason. I, I don't know why he did it. It's like he's just trying to start drama or something. But he put out a poll asking very simply and quite vaguely, who is the best? We had approaching 100 people vote in it and the results are disappointing. <laughs> no way. It's obvious that I would win the vote, but why the hell is Kexandra on there? She got more votes than either of you. That's hilarious. Believe it or not, at one point she was way ahead of any one of us with Joey being in second place and you being in third. Honestly, I would have voted for Kexandra as well. She's the Beatbox Joey. She's the uh, Whoa. She's the best. Oh, Ooh, what the fuck? Yeah, I'll take that at face value and agree with you, Joey. Um, she's a fun and quirky character, and I hope we encounter her more. Of course, I'm upset I didn't do better in the polls, but there's always next time. The Trump wave won't stop. I'll win every poll. It'll take the pokey world by storm. Make the national decks great again. <laughs> what what's so funny? Donnie we could simply have the voters vote for Joey instead of voting for me. I'll run as his VP for the polls, thereby any votes I get, he would get as well, bringing our vote count above yours. What? That shit's not fair. Hey, that's fair. Barry and I are an unstoppable team, both in politics and in YouTube. It would only be fair that we get to team up. Whoa, hey, if you get a VP, don't I get one? Yeah, um, but we're going by theoreticals here. We're only including um, people from that poll and even if you had Benny be your VP, you would gain like one vote because no one voted for him. It's pretty funny, actually. Hell no, I wouldn't run in the YouTube polls with Benny. That guy's a square. I'm talking about taking YouTube by the horns and running with Kexandra as my VP. Fucking Think what? Think about it. We can start selling Make the National Decks Great Again propeller hats. It will be iconic. And gross, is that what the first route bird evolves into? No, the first route bird doesn't evolve into that. And I'm gonna have to 
get me one of those propeller hats. I can't believe you would run with a child as your VP. Well, you better believe it. She's second only to me in terms of popularity. We would sweep the polls and make a tremendous profit while doing it. And you know what? Fuck it. Benny could be my second VP after her, of course. Donnie, it's like you have no respect or any clue on how the political process no. works. No, no, no. Applejack is the best pony. Barry killed this fucker. Jesus. Pull an Epstein and let him be found dead in a cell. I will not stand for this shit. Joey, I thought you said to let people like what they like. I understood. What the hell? That was for pets. Which pony is the best is a serious topic. I could deal with a rarity or Celestia. Hell, even a damn Rainbow Dash lover. But I cannot let a Pinkie Pie beat a male. Live now, kill him. Really, that guy's a beta male, not because he watches My Little Pony, but because he likes the wrong pony. Me adverted. Uh, Joey, Pinkie stop Pie whatever you're doing. It. As I don't look at you. Did visit Nikola. What the fuck, Joey? What the <laughs> hell? Quit biting Donnie's Taste hand. My second Don amendment. Don't hurt Donnie. Punch. Holy shit, you two are so fucked. Donnie, he's an old man. You can't just punch him like that. Yada yada does it. What the hell did you just say? Just give him his pills while he's passed out. He keeps them in a little container in his front right pocket. How the hell do you know that? And why are you so freakishly strong? You just pushed the couch he was sitting on across the room along with him. You don't pry about my life. I don't pry about yours, Capiche. Joey's fine. Quit freaking out over nothing. Just give him his pills. The fucker left teeth imprints on my hand. Uh, all right then, let me just- Hold on, I'm gonna send Benny a pic, actually. I'm gonna caption it, LOL, this guy got like 23 times your votes in our who is the best uh, poll. People like this dude more than you, that'll mess with him. I, why the fuck, what's going on here? Why does he have like 40 different looking pills in here? And why did you take his picture in private without his consent? Yeah, just dump the whole container into his mouth and consent doesn't exist. Oh yeah, of course. I really hope Joey's all right. Hey fellas, seems like I dozed off for a bit there. Sorry, but I'm feeling refreshed and ready to game. Joey, you're all right and so quickly, What's the last thing you remember? Hey, oh fuck, this guy knows. Ponies are so Barry, fucking just be ready sexy. for this. It happens every time he takes all his pills late. What the fuck? That's terrifying. Well, I'm not gonna get too ahead of myself here. Before I go any further into this snowy area, I wanna grind a little bit and see if this route has any interesting encounters. And that's why Akamega Kill is the worst anime I've ever fucking seen. But, but Mommy is death. After Attack on Titan, of course. Okay, I've never seen that first one, but how fucking dare you say that about Attack on Titan? Joey, I didn't get so insanely invested in it back in the first season of the anime, only for the last season to butcher everything I loved about it. It's like they brought in some fan fiction writer to finish off what was supposed to be one of the most interesting stories ever. Oh, what, you're saying the last arc lacked intrigue? Bullshit. It had... Uh, sorry, Barry, were you going to say something? What? Oh, no, that was Donnie. What? I'm just sitting here listening to you two sling shit. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Barry! Barry! Please! Plerosia! What the hell? I need you to catch this Pokemon for me. Um. I beg of you, Barry. Okay, I guess. No, I'll really fucking do it this time if you don't catch this one for real. Uh, Donnie, I thought you said he took all his pills. Yeah, but he's probably been skipping out on them whenever he can. Can you blame him, though? You saw how many he has to take. He's been taking so many that his body's built up an immunity to them over the years. The shit he takes is basically poison to anybody else. Well, Joey, we've got to keep you on your steady supply. All right. It really messes with your system when you're inconsistent. It's usually worse than not taking them. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. This little lady's a psychic type. Did you see her use a psychic move? And gosh, did you see her hair? Um, Joey, could you quit acting like that and you can see that the one we caught is a boy, right? It, it is? Yeah, sorry to burst your bubble. Oh, oh. Barry, you seriously oh, should have ignored oh, this Pokemon. Oh, I know you wanted oh, to please oh, Joey, oh, but he is absolutely hey. going too far with this. And its title is The Innocence Pokemon. Yeah, I made a mistake here. I should have just ran when I saw it. Yeah, absolutely. This Pokemon was made for people like Joey. I feel extremely fucking stupid actually catching this thing. <laughs> I can't believe I made that error in judgment. You done now, Joey? Guys, I've had a long day today but I never expected it to be a hard day. Jesus Christ. This game is really bringing out the worst in us, isn't it? It's not the gun that shoots someone. 
It's the person holding the gun that shoots someone. Donnie, that doesn't even qualify for what I'm talking about. It's a bastard game played by bastards. Hey, I think I've been having a great time so far. Well, anyway, I caught some Pokemon while grinding that grass patch, and we've got three new ones. A viewer suggested Caracold, and while it is a fun design and a cool typing, I don't know. That guy we faced sort of ruined it for me. Holy shit. This thing actually has great stats. Sure, the speed could be better, but it's got great defenses and special attack. I hate to say it, but this may have been a great catch. God damn it. You're right. We could potentially use this on our team. Please, every single person watching this video right now, I'm on my hands and knees here. I need a name for this cutie. Please, please give as many name suggestions as you can for her. That's awful, but necessary, I guess. And I kind of want to use this Caracold, but I don't know who to replace. I'm thinking Pikman? Absolutely not. No chance. Pikman will evolve again. He will overcome his endless agony. He will turn it into a strength. He's going to evolve. And when he does, he will be a super badass grass fire type. Just watch, Barry. Greatness will come from Pikman. Whoa, whoa, wait. How are we 10 hours in? That must be a side effect of the fast forward button. And Barry, to be fair, since I picked both Banjo and the hey, 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 um... What the hell? Lastly, and Donnie picked both Hussein and Pikman, you can pick the other two slots in our team. Yeah, that's fair. Well, in that case, I think I'll keep them the same for now. I like the poison, flying, and especially water coverage. I think we're going to end off the video here, though. This was one absolutely cursed session. Don't forget to comment both the name for our last Lee um, and what Pokemon you want most as a pet. Ugh, oh, wait, I changed my answer for which Pokemon I want as a pet. Joey, we're ending the video as we speak. Aren't you late for that? I want to be a pet for a Pokemon. What the I hell? want to be a pet for my dear last Lee. Joey, yeah. what the fucking shit? I recognize those voices. What the? Guys, that didn't come from my headset. That was real life. Yeah, no shit. We all flung our headsets off. That was actually very real. Wait, so you guys really heard it this time? Yeah, Barry, but that doesn't explain anything. Did someone say they recognized us? I don't see anyone else in the room with us, though. It feels like it's been an eternity since I last heard a voice. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I even existed, or ever did exist for that matter. Wait, guys, that's the voice I heard when Terry spoke. It's familiar, but more robotic. Yeah, I recognize that voice anywhere. Funny enough, you mentioned him earlier. Alex Jones, where are you, Alex? I'm neither here nor there, but I can assure you that I'm right here. This crazy bastard sounds even crazier than normal. Show yourself. Uh, this is a security breach spying on not one, but three U.S. presidents is a federal crime. I recognize your voices, and given that you said three U.S. presidents, I can only assume I'm in the same room as Barack Obama, Donald Trump, and Joe Biden. This universe is so different from mine. How strange that it brought me here, of all places. If this universe is anything like mine, I hope you two are keeping an eye on Barack here. What? Are you talking about me? My name isn't Barack. It's Barry. You must be confused as hell. What kind of dumbass name is Barack? Obama is already funny enough. Imagine if you had Barack as a first name. I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah, I definitely would have been bullied with a name like that. Also, what did he say? Donald and Joe? I mean, he's close, I guess. Oh, Donald Trump has a tremendous ring to it. I should rebrand myself. Unlike Barack Obama, that shit's hilarious. Yeah, I definitely dodged a bullet there. Man, if my name was one letter shorter, I'd save significantly more time every time I have to sign something. I should look into that. And wait, did you tell these two to keep an eye on me? What the hell did I do? My apologies, Barry, but that's strange. I assumed it was the omniversal standard for you three to have those exact names. But hey, I've already noticed way more drastic differences. Oh yeah, I can't believe we just ignored that part. Did you say something about your universe and the omniverse? Well, yeah. Is that even possible? Where even are you? This is creeping me out. So I'm not currently visible to you. I guess I can understand that. Here, how's this? Whoa. What the? Well, in all my years, that, that's new. How are you projecting yourself through the television? Projecting myself? That would imply I'm not really in it. No, no. I'm in your television, all right. And did you know televisions are anything but two-dimensional? So if you're really from another universe, then why the hell are you in our television? Holy shit, I never ever thought I'd say a sentence like that. And why do you look like that? Yeah, you'd be looking a little scary. Well, the answer to the first question is, existing takes a lot out of you. I feel you there, brother man. So I'm just using a medium which preserves my energy more. And the second answer isn't relevant or important. You're spouting a lot of insane shit. Just tell us why you're here. Okay. To put it simply, 
Something led me here, but is also breaking down the walls between universes. And right now, there is a universe out there that was made by this one. Oh, I get it. There's no way. Yeah, I, uh, Alex, you're a real American patriot, but I have no idea what gibberish you're speaking. Well, I'm not sure if I can explain it simply, but you care about America, right? Of course. It's America first, everyone else second. I expect every leader of a country to think the same of their own. Yeah, I don't know about that. Sounds boring. Boring? Yeah, like I'm about to fall asleep if you talk about that. Really? Because the Joe Biden where I came from fought for this country with everything he had. Yawn, have Kamala do it. Okay, then. Then what about your whole universe? Wait, is that the thing with every other country? They're in trouble. We can't just sit idly by. We have to do something. Joey, are you kidding me right now? It's got to be the pills again, but why do you ask, Alex? Joey here is right. This universe is in trouble. It's showing signs of corruption. And being from a null universe myself, I think I should step in to make sure things don't get worse. Universes like this typically get cut off from the rest. But that hasn't happened, and I don't know why. All ports are open, and connection to the base is still established. Why the hell are you talking like someone from Star Trek or something? You're from a null universe? And what's this about corruption? Honestly? My brain is a little foggy for all I know. I could have just been born two seconds ago and all my memories are a lie. So let me sit a while. So you can survive the nullification of a universe, travel across universes and invade our television, but you can't answer some questions. You guys are throwing a lot of questions at me and look, here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I... I'm kind of retarded. What did you call me? Holy shit. Listen, do you guys want to save this universe and by extension many, many others or not? I'm not a fan of how strange and vague this is, but the whole situation is completely crazy. And I can't deny what I'm seeing right now. If you say our world is in danger, then I'm in to save it. I don't know, guys. What about our YouTube channel? Um, Excuse me? Your YouTube channel? Yeah, our YouTube channel. We were playing a super fun video game for our channel before you interrupted us. We still have to finish what we started, and we can't keep people waiting. Are you guys serious? Dead serious, Alex. We're paying off the national debt by earning YouTube revenue. And I said I was the retarded one. This universe is unbelievable. Hey, man, that's not cool. Alex, we'll do what we have to as long as we can still upload our YouTube content. How long will this take? It's seriously that important to you? Anything for our fans? I second this. Three is the perfect age to- Er, uh, I mean, I'm three. Well, okay then. I can provide the means to, uh, uh, play your game when you're in this universe. You won't be able to upload it, though. No, no, we'll be able to upload just fine. All right, well, you'll just have to see for yourself. Keep in mind, this universe differs greatly to yours, and everything exists a lot more linearly. I also don't know myself how this is going to play out, but I'm sure we'll be able to get to the bottom of it. Okay, you're adding more details. Is there anything else we should know before starting this? Well, since this universe differs so greatly from both of ours, I won't be able to manifest in any significant way. You guys are going to be a bit better off, though. You'll be able to have a Vauxhall form like I currently have, but it will be in the subconscious of someone who already exists there. So... You three will be sharing a body with myself assisting where I can. <sighs> Ew, no, what the fuck? I don't want to share a body with these fucks, bullshit! Um, I'm not going to turn orange and get diabetes or become old and wrinkly with dementia, right? What? No, that's ridiculous. You'll essentially be as you are now, but floating in nothingness. That's not very reassuring at all. You'll be fine. The only way you could die is if that universe collapses or the person you're inhabiting dies and you aren't pulled out quick enough. Wait, you're telling me I can actually die? How are we even going to get there? What are you going to do? Teleport us? Don't be ridiculous. Teleporting won't help us at all here. No, you three are going to travel with me through the Vox and we'll eventually arrive. The Vox? Hey, that's half our YouTube channel's name. Cool. Anyway, are we ready to go? Let's do this. Screw it. I'm ready. We have to save everyone else. Let's go. How, uh, do we get started? Simple. Just approach your television and I can pull you guys in. I don't like the sound of that. Let's go. All right, now get close. Preferably touch it. That's what he said. Ha ha. Barry's touching another thing that a man told him to touch. Ha ha ha. Why the hell did you laugh like that and shut the fuck up? Ah!